Hi everyone, my name is Verity and I'm the Learning Engagement Officer at St Barb Museum and Art Gallery. Today we're going to use our handling collection to answer the question, how were Roman coins designed? We're very lucky to have in our collection a real Roman coin which we're allowed to handle, carefully of course. This Roman coin has the Emperor Gallinus on it and he was Emperor from 253 to 268 AD. But what's special about him is for the first half of his reign, he shared it with another emperor and they reigned together. There are three parts to Roman coin design. There's the head, or the bust as it's called. There's the writing on the outside, all the way around the coin. And then there's the reverse image. All parts cleverly tell something about the Roman emperor who has created them. So the first bit of the coin to look at is the Roman Emperor's head, usually designed more handsome than he actually was and often wearing some kind of headgear. There are three types of headgear that the Emperor could be wearing on his coin. These are a laurelet, which is a wreath of laurel or oak or ivy branches, or he might be wearing a radiate, which is a spiky crown associated with the sun god Sol. Or he might be wearing a diadem, which is a band of metal or cloth, often decorated. Our handling collection coin is wearing a radiate crown. The second part of the coin to look at is the writing that circles the emperor's head. This is a small collection of letters, abbreviations, all the way around, and they tell us something about the achievements of the Emperor. It's a great way of the Emperor to tell all his subjects what he's been up to and things that he's achieved in his reign so far. The third part to look at is the reverse side, so the opposite side to the head. Every coin has a image on it uh, which represents something. Usually it represents something that the Emperor believes in. So it might be a moral thing or it might be a political thing. So each image represents something different. 